If you own any of these following batteries that have died and no longer take a charge, then we are going to show you guys how to bring them back to life using this little guy. Let's check it out. So I introduced to you the little CP2112 debugging board. Guys, this is probably the easiest way to revive uh, your DJI batteries. But remember, this little board is very battery specific. So Mavic 2, Mavic Air 2, Mavic Air 1, Mini 1, Mini 2 and DJI Spark. That's all this little board supports. But it's really, it's almost for free. It's literally, this is almost for free. The, the, the software um, is called DJI Battery Killer. It costs you absolutely nothing. This little board is about $4, 70, 70 odd rand. Um, so really cheap, uh, you can't go wrong. So I will link the, the links and, and, and everything below. Um, if you guys do want the firmware, Pop us an email that will then happily we transfer to you but you can find it online but if you don't feel like going through the rigmarole of searching online and trying to find the right thing pop us an email i'll leave the details in the description below and we'll we transfer you that stuff that sort of stuff i will also link below where you can buy this little uh, cp2112 board and um, get yourself set up and, and ready to go the other thing we do use which you probably won't need is we do use um, adapter or battery specific uh, adapter boards okay it's not necessary but because of the amount of batteries we do we've got boards for every single battery the drones I mentioned so um, however like I mentioned it's not required you would simply just pin wires out from the boards straight into the battery so I'll show you guys in the firmware a little bit later on the video uh, where the pin outs where you can find them and and just how easy it is to get this done so unlock your batteries, revive them. Remember, guys, don't try this if your batteries are swollen. Okay, if they're swollen, the cells are bad already. Um, but if you have batteries that are just not charging anymore, then this little guy is going to be your best friend. And like I say, this is it's, it's almost free. It really is almost free. So let's get into the video and show you guys how this little board works. So for today's experiment, or experiment slash video, we had a client bring in a Mavic 2 Pro battery this morning um, that is completely dead. So we are actually going to use this for this video. So you guys can see exactly what we do and the process we follow. So good stuff. Let's get going. Let's get started. 12 seconds later. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we get started, I, I clean forgot to mention this and I need to mention this to you because it's pretty important. So for today's exercise, as I mentioned, we've got this Mavic 2 battery. So we are going to try and plug in directly to the battery without disassembling it, okay? The chances are a 50-50 that you might have to disassemble your battery, okay? Because the cells are just too flat. Remember, the software needs a certain voltage to be able to read the battery. If that voltage is too low, you're not going to be able to read the battery. If that's your case, then what you'll need to do is take the battery apart as neatly as possible so you can use the casings again and then get it onto a bench power supply okay that's going to push uh, each cell's voltage up uh, to a nominal level where the software can then actually read the battery okay guys if you haven't got a bench power supply or a means of pushing power into the battery very slowly and consistently then yeah you might get a little bit stuck but it's it's a 50 50 chance sometimes we don't even need to crack these open so we're actually going to see if we need to open this and get it onto a bench power supply or if we're just lucky today and we can just pin straight in and read the battery so just keep that in mind right now let's get into the actual video right what's required of course your little cp2112 debugging board and then we've got four adapters for the four various batteries actually five various batteries so here we've got uh, mavic 2 
Uh, over here we've got DJI Mini 1, Mini 2 and Spark. Uh, this side over here we've got Mavic Air 2 and over here we've got Mavic Air 1. So we like a, a quick simple plug and play solution so we've got all boards um, but they are not necessary. If you don't want to use the boards grab yourself some wiring like this and you'll be able to pin straight into the batteries. Alright well, guys we've got the DJI battery repair tool open. Um, I haven't got a battery connected. So if you're not going to be making use of the adapter plates for the specific batteries then there is a way to pin into the batteries and if you go down to the bottom here and you click help there we go okay Mavic 2 Pro Zoom shows you the positives the SDA the SEL and the ground points so you can literally pin into the battery in these points Mavic Air same thing Mavic Air 2 Mini 2 Mini 1 Mini 1 and Spark, actually Mini 2, Mini 1 and Spark I believe use exactly the same. So you can do Spark batteries with this as well. So there are the pinouts. So you can literally pin um, little wire connectors in there. Connect it to your, your CP2112. Connect to the software and read. Uh, we're going to do a Mavic 2 battery. Um, so we'll show you exactly how we do that. We're obviously using the adapter plates. It does speed things up a little bit. Um, and it does help because those pinouts are, are already there and in place. Anyway, let's get into showing you guys how we do things with the Mavic 2 battery. Right, we are set up and ready to plug into the PC. As you'll see here, we've got our leads going from our CP uh, debug board to our Mavic 2 adapter board. Uh, we've obviously got this four pin plug here. It's not required. You can just pin uh, wires directly from the CP straight either into the battery or if you do get yourself a board onto the board and then obviously our USB cable into the PC so we are now ready to plug into the PC and get this battery on the go again so let's head over and go and do that right so we have our Mavic 2 battery connected up to our CP2112 so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit connect all right device successfully open device successfully configured to go hit read info okay uh, could not perform SMB let's just try to read it again there we go okay so we read it gave us an error right here could not perform SMB sometimes if that does happen what you can do is just hit the power button on the battery all right and this is going to give you all the details on the battery okay the uh, cell counts your charge cycles current temperature um, so there's quite a bit of information to read through here uh, but you just kind of go through it there's a battery serial number as well uh, so what we want to do now I see we've got 47 cycles okay so we need to unseal the battery unseal successful let's go clear pf clear pf successfully clear pf2 clear pf2 successful right so we've just removed the pf that's fantastic so what we'll do now is as soon as we exit it will then reseal the battery so we're going to hit exit reseal the battery and let's go see if this thing charges and there it is the battery's charging this took me probably all of two minutes to do um, it really does help having those adapter plates because you, you don't have to pin out directly into the battery but nonetheless maybe take you a little bit longer if you have to pin out but that's really how easy this is that was legitness yeah it was huh? thank you